What is going on guys, today we're looking at Team of the Season Moment Akadi 94, just been dropped at 6pm today, so I thought, you know what, Van, Van Der Beek can wait until tomorrow morning, um, that will be up fresh in the morning, I thought, you know what, whilst Akadi is fresh, I want to get him out first. Looking at the SBC price, it's going to cost you around about 180 to 170 depending on which console you're on. Um, to be honest, it probably will drop, especially during lightning rounds tomorrow. Um, I believe it's out for, for a little bit longer anyway, just because obviously it's only fresh. I can't imagine them getting rid of it tomorrow. So obviously a lot of players will be put back into packs, will be being packing loads. So you can imagine that it's going to be... One of them things that it will drop dramatically tomorrow, if anything. Um, you've got to do the free squads. Um, one of the, No informs, which is the best thing. One in, Inter Milan player, uh, two Argentinian players, three Serie A players. And in that order, 83 rated, 84 rated, and another 84 rated. So very, very simple. Very, very easy. I had to do it. Um, I did that one actually really quickly in using a lot of my players in my club. So obviously, I did go over a little bit on who I'd actually put in. So Rakitic, Alba. But but with them being SBC players that I've just gained as I've been doing this along, um, I'm quite happy to let them go for a 94 rated player in the return. Looking at his stats then, three star skiller, which is the, the big no-no for this card. Um, it's, it's probably the only thing that really lets this card down, to be honest. You've got the four star weak foot, which is nice. He's right footed, five foot 11, low defensive work rate, medium attacking. I really didn't see a problem with him when it came to work rates. Like I say with most of them, work rates you can almost dismiss a little bit. Um, I personally don't see them, the major impact they have on this game personally. Um, but that's just personally my opinion on them. Um, looking at the stats, the shooting, 99 positioning and finishing, 92 shot power. Fantastic. Really the only thing that drops it down is the 77 long shots. And again... Do you really need 99 long shots? Like, you'll have it if it's there, but I don't think you'll miss it too much on this game. You've got the 99 head and accuracy combined with the jumping. 84 stamina, which is good enough. Um, it's not it's not uh, great, but it's decent. It's, it's good enough. Um, you've got 93 composure. That is sound. 96 reactions. Again, another great stat. And then everything else is pretty much kind of medium average. What you're looking for with this card... Um, is kind of I'm trying to think what chemistry style personally you, you want to stay away from shooting because you've got your 99s there the most important ones realistically pace would be a great one to look at could you do passing I possibly would be looking I, I'd say Hawk would be a waste to be honest um, it'd get you 90 pace and 87 physical but I'd be looking more at probably going for something like, uh, is it, what is it, is it Deadeye? No, Deadeye's shooting as well, isn't it? Uh, Artist, I think that's the one. Yeah, so you'd have your pace at 86. For me, he's more of a hold-up striker of anything. Um, someone you, you kind of give the ball to. He's not necessarily slow, but he's not quite the 96 acceleration, the 90 acceleration here, there, and everywhere. With the Artist, you'd get 95 dribbling and 82 passing. I think that it's it's a shame because there's not very there's very little chemistry styles with say dribbling and physical or pace and dribbling or pace and physical they're the real major stats I'd say you want to be getting up I'd say dribbling would be priority physical would be nice passing would be no in fact so I'd go dribbling physical pace passing they're the order that you want to get these in um, shooting for me is good enough I really don't see the need in getting any more shooting as practically the, the most important ones are pretty much 99 already so again you don't really need it what I found with this card going away from the skills um, great assister really decent at assisting kind of good at them layoffs great at heading absolutely fantastic in the air obviously with the 99 heading accuracy and jumping he was really good at going to that front post making that kind of darting run just in front of the defender or just slightly behind so he can get that head um and in general quite a sharp shot as well um didn't really see too much in his shoot in like his long shots just because obviously they're 77 so it's not quite there overall pros of this card heading and shooting was by far the best features on this card and that's practically all of his shooting stats all done um dribbling wise is okay pace is okay it's it's there it's decent it's okay um physical that's actually quite good actually i'd say that's above average to be honest um and then passing 
was on the okay side. He's, like I said, he's better for the layoffs more than anything else. The cons, definitely the only thing that I really found that this card needed was a four-star or five-star skill move. Unfortunately, he has stayed at the three-star skills, so we're just going to have to bear and grind with that. Um, 180k, like I said, on the SBC. I think, personally, that is great value, and that's why I gave it a 10 out of 10. For 180k, whatever it is, probably dropped to, what, 150? I can imagine when lightning round potentially even lower that is a very good card to get 110k worth of packs back as well as having that 94 either in your team in your bench i'd say super sub for foot champs or later on down the line whacking them into an sbc to make a prime moment at that little bit cheaper so for me value is definitely on point with this one pretty much the same as van der beek even though he was a little bit cheaper um you're getting a 94 instead of a 90 for this card overall i'm giving him an 8 out of 10 i think he's got that little bit to go before he challenges the 10 out of 10s the 9 out of 10s for me um but in general a very nice card and to be honest for how much i paid well in fact i paid no coins for him but as much as I did get him for, I'm pretty happy. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button down below. Just lets me know that you're enjoying these videos. And if you want to subscribe for more content, please do. And also press that bell button just in case you get don't get notified on the sub boxes. Always lets you know whenever I upload a video, which is going to be very, very regular going forward. As we pretty much keep going anyway. Normally it's two to three videos a day. So I'm going to keep grinding that out and we'll see how we can do before FIFA 19 ends. And apart from that, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.